What is up everyone, Michael here and today I am joined by Simon and Timmy to discuss the Russian I'll love how Santa Claus makes it around the whole world in one night. Simon, would you like to go first? Yes, so first we need to establish how long Santa Claus has to cover the globe and you may be thinking the average night is only 10 hours from 8pm to 6am but due to time zones an additional 24 hours can be factored in for a total of 34 hours. Next let's take a rough estimate of there being 200 million children who celebrate Christmas across about 75 million homes. Next. The average distance between homes is 2.62 kilometers. Then by multiplying those together we get that he needs to travel a distance of 196,339,968 kilometers and using the speed distance time formula we get that he would need to travel 5,774,700 kilometers per hour. Even if my numbers are off by a bit this still shows that Santa is either another more advanced life form or is extremely advanced scientifically. Thank you for the science lessons of Santa Claus, Simon. Now present your rationale to me. I just think he is magic or superhuman because I mean magic isn't that hard to believe considering we are all talking cardboard and Michael and Ghost are basically immortal since they will indefinitely swap places with each other as well as Michael. Both loads of other accomplishments from the Hurt series. There you have it folks, two equally plausible justifications on how Santa Claus gets around the world in one night, Michael is out.